Rolls-Royce's position in the business aviation market is very strong. We've had the number one market share for engines by value for several years, and we've dominated the top end of the business jet market with the very long-range aircraft for decades. The customer for a business jet breaks down a couple different categories. You have large corporations who have their own flight departments. You have individuals who buy business jets for lifestyle options. Uh, but what they want out of it is similar. They want convenience, they want time saving, they don't want to be constrained by scheduled service or the type of airport that they have to fly into. It's all about flexibility. The business jet market differs from the airline market in a number of ways, but probably the key way is that most business jet operators are, are single owners, single entities. They don't have large infrastructures like airlines do. Consequently, they're very reliant on the aircraft manufacturers and us to help them maintain the aircraft, the engines, provide services and technical expertise. Well, what's next for Rolls-Royce in the business aviation market is continuing our strong position in the long-range sector. Um, we have our advanced two technology programs which are all designed to allow us to develop and put into service the next generation of large cabin business jet engines when the time is right, when we have the right product for the right application. Uh, the supersonic business jet market looks very interesting. Uh, it's very formative right now. Uh, we're engaged in some technology program uh, development and some discussions with potential customers. Uh, it's a long way off, but it could be a real new uh, era for business jet travel to be able to travel at Mach 0.4, Mach 0.8 um, across the ocean and uh, could produce tremendous time savings for a market where time savings, as I've said, is already at a premium. So it's a very exciting potential opportunity for Rolls-Royce. It fits our brand perfectly and we intend to be there when and if the market develops. As everyone in business, business aviation is aware, services are absolutely critical. Our customer base doesn't have the long-term infrastructure that an airline would have to service and maintain its products, so they're very reliant on Rolls-Royce. And we intend to be number one in service delivery for this market. We already have the premier maintenance program in corporate care. We have a tremendous uptake. We're constantly looking to improve corporate care and more importantly, deliver the services uh, that justify uh, the contractual commitment and the brand commitment that corporate care offers to the customer base. Um, we've spent quite a long time talking to our customers, getting their feedback uh, on, on what being number one means and we tend to live up to that promise.